Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And this video, hopefully it's gonna be a short video because I just wanted to show some of you guys because I'm pretty sure you have the same issue or you think you may have an issue uh, with your door locks or one of your door locks. So I just wanted to quickly um, go through it and show you what I mean uh, because I was a little stumbled and I was actually scratching my head because, you know, I thought maybe my, you know, left door module was bad because what was happening is actually screw that I will just tell you while we're you know looking at the problem so when your door panel is off when you close the door this door switch that usually what presses on this door switch is the door panel like this right so that's what presses on the switch the switch is actually a really really important piece for this car all right it's for the alarm systems for your basically a wake-up call that's what the switch is for now if this switch is not pressed you will not be able to lock the driver's side door okay so now Show you this is the switch right so this there's nothing, there's nothing actually wrong with the switch right the switch was pretty cheap actually so i'm gonna just uh you know replace this one it's actually pretty easy to replace and just as a preventive maintenance you know it's a good idea to do that that way you know you will you know, you'll never run into any problems whatsoever in the future and it's easy to replace so it's just a good preventive maintenance to do all right now let's pretend that open the door right so the door is open now let's close it Okay, so now let's say the door is closed okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be holding this okay so i'm gonna have to it's gonna be difficult to show right but i'm gonna be holding that that button that i'm gonna push it in and i'm gonna lock the doors all right i'll try to show you okay and it locked right now unlock i'm still pressing that lock isn't that crazy that is super crazy so yeah there's actually nothing wrong because of that initially i thought maybe the power is not getting from this module to this door actuator or something was messed up but now i see it. that's why this switch is super important guys now to replace the switch i'm simply gonna move this out and there's that switch and now what you do you just press squeeze these two together okay let's try to actually figure that out i might have to use like a screwdriver to press down on that clip so after pressing down on that this will pop out then you can carefully get it out of there let's see Maybe I should disconnect the connector first. Let's try to figure this out. Yeah, probably the connector should get disconnected, I think. No. Actually, maybe not. It's just a tight fit though. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna disconnect the connector. It's a bit of a pain to disconnect this connector. You have to do it while it's still in there. So I have to go from the both sides, use two picks to disconnect this guy. And then it will come out. And this is the new switch. Okay, let's push it in all the way. There you go, amazing. So the funny thing is this this new one is also brand new one is original. But this this one original original to the car from 2003. 2004 it's just a little different but this will actually save you on a lot of aggravation so this is a good preventive maintenance to do all right so it's a good thing we're replacing it 